Well, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're looking at this uh, module. This is module 4B, and this is the continuation of uh, triads, seven chords, and this is, of course, the chords themselves. Hopefully you've gone over the other modules and you understand um, what a triad is and, and how to create a triad and a chord as well. And what I'm going to show you today is how to put those chord symbols into actual notes and um, create the harmony that we have. Now, on your sheet uh, from the last module, you should have been able to um, modify the chord changes that were from the original sheet. I gave you another sheet to do uh, another set of changes that were a little less complicated or sophisticated for this lesson. So they're at the top of each one of these measures. I believe that my cursor is moving, hopefully it is, and you can see this. Um, but um, what, what we're doing here is, if you look, um, this is a system. The first, if I go from my voice and my piano, and I go over one, two, three, those four measures, that creates my first system of, of two instruments. And as I read this and I scroll down, measure five, here's my next system. And measure 10. Of course, as we read this, we read across like we're reading a book, and this applies to uh, both instruments in the system, and we go down to the next system. Now that we have that, we have our chord changes, and these tell me how to now start to put my harmony in. So what I'm going to do is first to assign um, half notes for my right hand, which is my treble, for the chord symbols that I see and in my left hand I'm going to show you how to do a little something that will give us a I call it umpa bass and I'll talk about that in a minute okay so first what I want to do is click on the rest and I can use my shortcut the number six that will give me my half note value and I place the root of the chord as you know chords and triads are built on a root a third a fifth and if it's a seventh a seventh other words, uh, odd numbers or every other alphabet of wherever that chord uh, starts. C, D, E, F, G. So it'll be C, E, G. One, three, five. So here, and I press C. Now, that's not the C I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that down an octave. And the two ways, if you remember, is I can press down command or hold down command and or either control key in PC and my down arrow bring it down a, a, an octave, or I can press the individual up and down arrows, and I can go up what we call diatonically. All right, now that I have it, there are two ways for me to add an interval of a third, because that's how triads are built on thirds. Please review the previous lesson to figure that out for yourself, if you can, or with my help. And what we're going to do is add a third. So two ways to do it. I can go up to my menu at the top and do add, and there's a uh, menu at the top for intervals. Or I can highlight the note, press down my command key, and my number at the top to add a third. Three. Oh, sorry, my bad. I press down option key. Press down option key, hold down option key, and three. There we are, and there's my third, and if I hold it down, I have another third. So that's my first chord, a C major chord. Of course, I can copy that chord uh, by just um, highlighting that chord. And I can do it one of two ways, exactly, or R as a shortcut. And I have my C triad for my first measure, right hand. Let you listen to it. Okay. Now. For my left hand, my bass, I'm going to put a bass note on the first and third beats of that measure. I'm also going to use the root on the first beat and the fifth on the third beat. So click. I change to my quarter note, which is five. And I want C, which is the root of that chord. I'm going to move over. To beat three, this is beat one, beat two, and here's beat three. I want that also to be a quarter note. And if I do five of C, C, D, E, F, G, I find that five is G. There we are. So there's my first measure. 
Now, each one of my measures in this song is going to be put together similarly to this. And what you can do to save yourself time is since this next measure or any other measure that has this chord, particular chord change, I can take this measure and highlight and copy it. Same measure, same harmony. So if we're to listen back to this from this point. Moving on to my third measure, my next measure, I look at the chord symbol. It says G7, which tells me that that chord is built on the note G. So I'll do the same process. Click. Use my shortcut of six for my half note. Press my alphabet G to get my root. Now that root is using a legend line, and legend line extends the staff, and, and we're not really dealing with too many legend lines, so I'm gonna change the note up an octave. And that's right. Command key up arrow will give me my octave. Now I'm gonna add thirds to it. Easy way to do it, option key three. There's a third. I need a fifth, and in this case, I'm going to use the dominant seventh. Your, your lesson prior to this tells you and talks about the seventh, the major seventh, the dominant seventh, and minor seventh. Same thing here. I'm going to repeat this chord for, measure, for beats three and four, and now I'm going to put in my bass. So I know that I'm going to put a note on beats one and three. On beat one, it's going to be the root of that chord, and it's going to be the five of the chord. So if I start on G, G, A, B, C, D. So my two notes are going to be G, and on beat three, D. Oh, there we go, G. Ah, D, my bad, y'all. So, I can take it diatonically. That's my G line. That's my D line. Good boys do fine always. G, A, B, C, D. So there we are. Also, the next measure, same chord. So I can use my method again to... And remember that each one of these measures has to have a chord in it for it to uh, have harmony in it. These are rest, and if you look down measure five, those are rests. So that means that I have to fill in some things. All right, well, I showed you a shortcut, and if you look at the shortcut and I see that some of the chords are similar, I can use that shortcut to finish this off. I won't do it now. I'll let you do it. And in those measures that don't have similar chords, I have to take the same procedures that I did for these chords here and put them. So F minus seven, I would spell that out. D minus seven, that, that means the same. E7 is a dominant chord, etc., etc. When I get down here to uh, measure 15, 10, 11, 12, which is the last measure, I know when I put in my lyrics, this uh, truncated itself uh, to, to accommodate lyrics and all. I'm going to show you how to fix that too in one half a second. But I need to put in my um, endings first. Because this has a first and second ending, which tells me to do something. Here's my second ending. I'll take this out for right now for this demonstration. And I know the measure 15 and 16 are my first ending. Well, when I did this this way, click, and I use my palette tool. So I'm going to view my palette tool. Here it is. And I went to bar lines. Uh, not bar lines, my bad. I went to lines. And I did first ending, it only did one measure. So, what I found to do was to highlight both measures, all those measures that I want to affect, and use the same line tool. And there I have my first ending for the two measures that it uh, will be affected. For my um, second ending, Click. Here's my second ending. Oh, my bad. Click in the measure. Second. There we are. Okay. So now I have my first and second ending. And I got another trick to show you too in a second. Let me get back to my chords. 
I noticed that in my first ending, there are two chords. There's a C chord and an A minor chord. Now, what I'm going to do here is if you have two chords in a measure, there are a couple of measures that have it. Let's do this one together as a class. Um, we're going to first change this to a half note. And I want to also do a half note in the um, left hand. So let's put in first the root of the chord, which is C. I want to see that's an octave lower. And for my next note, I'm going to put in a half note A. Now that has a legend line. I said that we we're going to not do the legend lines, or you can do them if you wish, but uh, it's going to be the same result. But I'm going to put this up an octave. All right. So those are going to be my two chords I'm going to build on. So let's build on the C chord. I need a third. And there's my triad. I'm, I'm a seven chord. It's usually four notes. So I have a root. In this case, a minor third, a fifth, and my seventh. And I have those two chords. My left hand is going to play the root note. So that's going to be C. And it's going to be A. And when I play this back, I have two chords. You'll do the same for measure 16 when you get to measure 16. All right. Now, I, I found an issue. And I found out how to deal with this. These measures are crowded. Oh, I want to keep this uh, first ending together with here. So here's a little trick I found. Click in the measure. If you look on your keyboard, there is a key that is the, uh, a, a bracket key is what you call it, I believe. And if you look where, if you go to the top of your keyboard, I don't have a picture here to show you. Um, there is a, uh, right next to the P, there are keys that are, are bracket keys. So if you hold down shift, and you press the second of the bracket keys, what it's going to do, it's going to extend that measure and push it over to our other page. Okay, so now this is the final lesson for, for this module and uh, uh, basically for this whole um, process. So what you're to do again is to make sure that you have a chord in every measure based on what the chord name is and look to be smart if you see the same chord in some places I did over here somewhere ah instead of me trying to go th through this and do this all over again I use the tools uh, of the software to enable me to do this and I completed my document which I'm going to do later on and you should do and also when you have this done this will go uh, as part of your um, final in your final journal I will have that Put up for you as well okay so please review preview go back over yes get frustrated take your time do this when you can it's easier than what you think it's not rocket science I want you to have a great time at this uh, enjoy it have a little knowledge or a lot of knowledge about how it's done and I'll see you the next time take care I'm gone